we call billiards, they tell us, began with the ancient Egyptians. But there's nothing antique about Irving Crane, a pocket billiard champion, and Charlie Peterson, trick shot artist. Pete explains some fundamentals. There are certain basic fundamentals to play the game correctly. The first, of course, is knowing how to chop your cue correctly. All expert players chop your cue in this manner. That is the correct way. The next point of importance is knowing how to hold your cue. Hold your cue at the balance and not at the butt end because that gives you that pump handle and the swinging motion that is so detrimental in billiard and pocket billiard play. The correct way is holding the cue at the balance because 90% of your play is made this way. The next point of importance is knowing how to stand correctly. In standing at the table, place yourself up against it in this manner. Hold the cue at the balance and then stretch your left arm out as far as you possibly can at this 45 degree angle. This will place you correctly at the table. Your head will be over the cue. Your forearm will be away from the body, which gives you that free and easy motion that you must have. The next point of importance is knowing how to make a firm and solid bridge. The bridge has been instrumental in making Mr. Hoppy what he is today. Firmness and solidity is important. Curl that forefinger and the thumb around the cue near its point. In this manner, make a fist bridge. The second fence should be folded underneath. The third and fourth spread out, forming a tripod. You know, that gives you that firm and solid foundation that you must have for a good billiard play. Dead center shot. The cue tip strikes the ball exactly in the center. Slow motion shows you how the ball stops dead when you know how to control it. To make what is known as the follow shot, the ball is cued a tip above its center. Because of the overspin applied, the cue ball keeps on following through after meeting the object ball. The draw shot, cue to tip below center, is the most important shot in billiard play. Similar to the backspin shot in golf and just as spectacular to watch, it's the draw shot that makes the cue ball come back and ask for more. The object of billiards is to make carom. That is, to make the cue ball hit the other two balls, as Hoppy does it here. By calculating his angles precisely, Hoppy brings all the balls back into position for another score. Another carom. This time, Hoppy banks his cue ball off the side rail before completing the score, and the object ball returns. Hoppy demonstrates a half masse. Irving Crane demonstrates the standard opening in the game of pocket billiards called the break shot. Most experts play it this way to leave their opponents without a good opening. The cue ball ends up at the far end of the table, like this. Crane drops four balls in four separate pockets. Slow motion shows how. Charlie Peterson plays a Chuck Nurse. With the balls in this position, Charlie once made 20,000 points in one hour and 40 minutes. A force masse. It calls for a sharp downward stroke that must be perfectly timed. Willie Hoppy never makes a shot without planning for his next billiard. Here is a perfect gather shot in which he drives the first object ball around the table off four cushions, returning it to the corner close to the other two balls. Willie knows his cushions because his game is three cushion billiards. In that game, the cue ball must bank off three cushions before completing the carom. You can use four cushions if you want to, and in this shot, Hoppy does. The experts recommend keeping your eye on the ball in pocket billiards even though Irving Crane doesn't have to in this spot shot. The Massé shot is useful in pocket billiards, too. Blue Noses used to say that skill at billiards was evidence of a misspent youth. Apparently, the Army doesn't think so, 
Right now, Charlie Peterson is playing billiards exhibitions at service camps all over the country. This is a Peterson three cushion shot with right hand English. We've seen one way to make caroms indefinitely. Here is another, known as the rail nurse. An expert can go around the table almost forever, which is the reason for the game of balk line billiards, where chalk lines are drawn 18 inches from each cushion, and the number of caroms made between line and cushion is restricted. The hardest part of this shot is in balancing the ball. The cue ball comes back to score. Crane goes over and under a bridge, sinks both balls. Crane sinks three balls with one shot. Shots like this one made Hoppy the greatest of all time. He drives his first object ball off five rails to bring it into position for his next shot. And now his mastery of the very difficult freehand masse demonstrates perfect control. This masse shot spins the ball so that Hoppy makes a three cushion billiard off only one rail. Using a beam draw, Peterson jumps his cue ball over the cup, then back through it. Watch the frozen balls. Here's a shot you'll never see in regulation billiards. It's guaranteed to break up any game, including this one.